But I will not be here for long, so we'll, we'll just have okay. a short no conversation. Oh, okay. Because my wife is somewhere around. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. You, you have a wife? But you doesn't have another wife. Jesus was not married. Why? He's the word of God. He didn't come here for, for sex and Okay. Marriage. Anyway. Okay, okay tell yeah. me. Okay. Okay. Go. Okay, now. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going soon. Okay, Wait, I'll give you a lift. Yeah, okay. Oh, you got a car? Okay, tell me then. You're also leaving. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the question. Yeah. Okay. My question was three things I'm asking you again. Jesus, Christians twist the verse where Jesus said, at the resurrection, there is no marriage. Yeah. There's different, the context is at the resurrection. The context is not in the heaven. There's no way Jesus said in heaven, there's no marriage in heaven. And there's no way Jesus said, there's no sex in heaven. And I showed you the verse, Matthew 25, 1. Jesus said there will be like 10 virgin men who are going to meet their bridegroom. So we know what bridegroom is. And Revelation, Revelation chapter 14, verse one to four, it says, uh, there will be 144,000 something like that in heaven virgin men so the difference between you in by in the Bible Christianity you have virgin men in your heaven but us we have virgin women where that's the difference so my question to you is where did Jesus say there is no marriage in heaven exactly word by word the context is at the resurrection we know at the resurrection also in Islam there is no marriage because when you get you're coming out of we are we are coming out of the graves all of us there's, there will be no marriage at that time Jesus talked about a specific time so my question to you I want you to show me where Jesus said there is no marriage in heaven and there's no sex and I said again, in order you to have sex, you don't have to need, you don't have to get married. Okay. So, clear misquoting of the verse. Okay. And uh, when you read the verse in its context, uh -huh. the very starting of it, we, every Christian would identify this as a parable. So I no, really, according uh, to you. Okay. Yeah, I allowed you to speak okay. without interrupting. Please okay. Allow me to speak without interrupting. Okay. okay. So at the very beginning of this verse, it says, "At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like." When Jesus said this, and he's quoted multiple parables, he quoted many stories, okay, about uh, about different things in the Bible. This is one of the parables to illustrate to illustrate what heaven would be like in human terms. He and he was illustrating a parable. And he said at that time the kingdom of heaven would be like yeah. and he goes on to a Jewish custom of weddings these are not talking about virgin men whoever is reading it please read it in context this is talking about virgins in Jewish context and even in the custom that I come from there will be virgin this women. is not a Jewish context hold on in, it's in a the New Testament in the culture that it's I come from Torah. as well uh -huh. in the Jewish culture in the culture that I come from as well uh -huh. when we get married for my uh -huh. marriage there would be virgin women uh -huh. there will be virgin women who will work, who will assist the bride there will be unmarried men who assist the groom here in, the, in this country it's slightly different that they have married okay so now in the Jewish culture also they had virgin women who Oh my gosh. Can you stop it? Get down on purpose. Can you stop me? Come on. You're disrespecting. You're disrespecting us. That's disrespecting us. Yeah, you're disrespecting everyone. You're disrespecting everyone, my friend. Come on, please. Politely, my friend, please. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now, understand it in context. Okay. No, I allowed you to speak. Please allow me to okay. speak. This is nothing but a parable that Jesus is quoting, saying this is a story. The kingdom of heaven will be like the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who go out. Now you missed in quoting this, in misquoting this, you've missed the main objective of the story. It says that the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins 
who prepared their lamps and 10 foolish virgins who did not prepare the lamp. What Jesus is trying to tell the people is you should be like the 10 virgins who were prepared when the bridegroom comes. Who is the bridegroom? Jesus himself. That's the representation in the story. You completely missed it, missed this uh, story. You're talking about 10 virgin males waiting for their females in heaven. Nowhere in the Bible does it talk about sex. Now let me come okay. to the second point because you raised two points which are okay. connected. I'll, ra I'll talk about the second. At the resurrection, when you are resurrected, obviously you're not going to get married when you're resurrected. Thank when you. you go to heaven, how will you be married when you do not have your body? Your body is in the grave. Your body is dead and buried. It is your spirit that we believe that goes to heaven. Therefore, there is no sex, no marriage. That is why Jesus said you will neither have marriage nor be given into now, marriage now in again, heaven. Now again, I'm asking the same question. Still now, you didn't answer my question. First of all, Jesus said he was talking about the kingdom of heaven. He was not talking about anything else. The context is about the heaven. I didn't mention. Exactly. Jesus mentioned heaven. How do you know he wait, 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 know. wait. It's Jesus so never crazy. said there is nowhere in the Bible where Jesus said there is no marriage in heaven. There is no sex in heaven. He never said no single verse, and he never said there is no marriage in heaven. Until now, you're not showing me. But Jesus said after resurrection, after resurrection, and in heaven. We know that two, that is two different words. Okay. Can I you cannot one? use that one. And also Revelation chapter 14, verse 1 to 4, also it indicates there will be 100 and over 444,000, like something like that. 144,000, I'm not, I'm not sure. Whatever it is. 144,000. Yeah, 144,000 virgin men, yes. Continue. So also that one is in, in heaven. Continue. So now my question is, all the time you say Muslims will have 72 virgins. Also, you misquoting that verse, that hadith. The hadith is not for all Muslims. 72 virgins for the people, for the ones who die as martyrs, for the sake of Allah. Okay. Do you agree that one? Can I? Can so I now respond? you said it's a parable. It's not real. So according to you, it's not real. But Jesus mentioned about heaven, the kingdom of heaven. He never mentioned about other things. And he said they shall meet their bridegroom. We know what bridegroom is. You're twisting. We know already that is clear. Okay. Uh, two yeah. questions I, I ask I, you. Yeah. Two things. Two, two things. Yeah. I said, show me in the Bible where Jesus said there's no marriage in heaven. Show me in the Bible where Jesus said there's no sex in heaven. Okay. Can I, I'm responding now. Yeah. Okay, so again, let me go back to the passage because you quoted this passage. Okay. This passage is talking about virgins meeting uh -huh. their bridegroom. It again talks about virgins, not virgin men, uh -huh. virgin women meeting the bridegroom. Here, uh -huh. it is a representation of what is going to happen just before we get to heaven. And that is when Jesus comes again, we have to be like virgins, pure and holy to meet the bridegroom. If we are like the foolish virgins, because that is conveniently something that you left out, if we are the foolish virgins, they will be out of the kingdom of God. Now, at the time of resurrection, uh -huh. I agree with you, at the time of resurrection, there can be no sex, there can be no marriage, there cannot be anything else. But at the time of resurrection, it is not our physical body that is going to be resurrected. If our physical body is going to be in the ground, how on earth would we get 72 virgins? So that's my question to you. My question to you is, how will those martyrs, according to you, enjoy 72 virgins when their physical body is in the ground? How can... No, wait, 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 okay, wait, okay, wait, wait, okay, wait. So the, my, my question to you is, how, when their body is dead and buried in the ground, what will they be doing there and how will, we, will they be given new bodies? If they if you at all, understand the context of that. the hadith also. Can, uh, Please, I did not okay. interrupt you. Okay. Now, coming to Your Revelation. question is what? No, the question you asked now yeah, The question what? is, yeah. how will they be able to have sex when their body is dead and rotting in the ground? I'll answer what that What will question. happen that in heaven? Okay, so again, are you Shall I answer that Revelation? question first? Shall I answer Allow that question? Allow me to finish. Okay. Allow me to finish. Okay. Uh, in the book of Revelations, yeah. it talks about the 144,000 who will be saved. Yeah. It's not about virgin men, so do not misquote that verse. It's nothing about virgins. Because yeah. in our heaven, we are spirits. We will be like a spirit worshiping the Lord, worshiping God, and we will have uh, we will have things in heaven 
Jesus talks about mansions, it does not mean a physical mansion. It just talks about a place of rest. It talks about a place of fellowship with our God. It does not mean sex because if you're going to have sex, the very purpose of sex in biology is to have offspring. There's no such thing as offspring because now we will be like the angels. And that's what the Bible says. We'll be like the angels. There's what do you no mean? Sex. Okay, I'm asking two questions now. First of okay. all, let me answer your question. Yes. You said the people in Islam die as a, as as ma as um, and as martyrs mm -hmm. for the sake of Allah, you said how can they have and 72 virgins wa whilst they are dead? The hadith is not talking about in the grave. First of all, you need to get that point. Exactly. We are talking about in heaven. Okay. Mm. Now you. So my question to you now is, mm. do you know what's the spirit? What do you mean by like you become like a spirit? Can you explain mm. that one? Like that's why I said like the angels. like a spirit what? Like angels. The angels. What do you mean angel spirit? Angels are spirits. No, you yeah. mean angels are spirit. Yes. What angels do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Uh, angels are spirit. It, it is not a physical entity. So angels are spirit. Yes. So angels are spirit. Yes. So how can you just justify when Mary, according to Bible, the angel came to her, angel, angel Gabriel? If the angel is a spirit, how did he, she see them? So, yeah, can I respond to that? Answer that. One. Yeah. So angels can come into our world, okay, into the physical world. But you said world. angels are spirit. Can I? Can okay. I, can I? So they are spirit. Yeah. They can transcend into the physical world. Uh -huh. They can pass through the physical world. Uh -huh. So, for example, the trees or doors or windows or floors of buildings do not have anything to hinder them. They can move into any realm. That one we know. Okay? They can turn so into they different. Can, and they can also appear to people. But they can choose to, to uh, according to the will of God, they can choose to appear to people at certain points of time. But and now, even talk okay. physically. To okay, yeah. what well, I'm asking now, yeah. do you know the difference? They become like an angel. Jesus, yeah. what, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. Do you know the difference in the Bible, angels in the Bible and angels in Islam? Shall I tell you? Okay. In the Bible, it says when they came to Lot, Lot and what you say, Lot. 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 Mm -hmm. When they came, the angels came to him, and Abraham, whatever, According to Islam, when they brought the, the food, the meat they wanted to eat, in Islam, the angels never ate. But in your book, it says they ate it. Understand now? Yes. So, context, you say they will become like an angel, doesn't mean they will not have sex. How do you know the angels don't have sex? How do you know the angels do not marry one another? Do you have any verse in the Bible? You are assuming all, the ta all now, all I can hear now is assumption. There's no way in the Bible it says angels do not have married, do not get married, do not have sex, do not produce children. Do you have anywhere? Okay. Assumption. Can I respond? Yeah, Can assumption. I respond? Again, yeah. sex is for the physical body. Okay. And that was my question to you. Okay. When those martyrs, yes. and for example, for, for that matter, you know, the male martyrs get 72 virgins. I'm not sure what the female martyrs get. Anyway, but okay. well, let me come to the point. Okay. Um, when your body is dead and buried in the ground, yeah. your physical body is dead and buried. Sex and marriage is for physical body to reproduce. Uh, the reason why we have sex is for reproduction. The main reason for sex is for reproduction. Again. And how can you have sex in heaven when your body again, is dead and again, buried in the ground? Again, it I'm is asking. common sense. Again, no, common sense, assumption, assumption. No, it is common, common sense. sense. You're My using common sense. No, I want from your book. No, I'm asking you no. a question. You answer no. me from your book. I want from answer your book. From your no, book. I'm sh I, I answered. Is dead and buried no. in the ground. How no. can he have I'm sex? talking about in the grave we are talking about in heaven don't divert to the grave now but his body is in, no, no. in the grave no no we are talking about in heaven after the so, resurrection after the resurrection. are you getting so the point what, what? in so, islam when so Allah, his body no, will no, come no, out of the ground in islam when we are talking about the 72 wait let me can i ground? talk can i answer yeah 72 virgins mm. is not in the grave it's not about spiritually mm. it's physically real right I it's understand that, that one is after the resurrection when muslims go to jannah heaven that. so that one is not about spiritually do not ask sex? me I know okay where their body do not ask is. no I know where their body is. are you not getting my point no, i I'm said not the look, point. look look my point is now like we, you're telling wait, me let me answer not there. let me answer I'm asking you let me to answer. show me what let is me there answer of... let me answer yeah, i said to you okay mm. let me say to you mm. let me answer yeah simply i mm. said to you when must, when we die in a, when we die we go to the grave we go to the grave yeah, yeah. that time we become dust correct after the resurrection okay we will be resurrected okay physically okay not just spiritually okay Look, wait wait brother 
I was physically, not spiritually. Okay. So 72 virgins or whatever, or Hurul Ain, all that, is in heaven physically after the resurrection, the life after this life. That one I answered. Okay. I hope you get that point. Okay. So now I'm asking, still now you are telling me assumption. Jesus said they will be like an angels. So in the Bible, there is no way it says angels do not have sex. Angels, do not, they do not get married. So I want the context, I don't want assumption. Where Jesus said, angels do not get married, married, and they do not have sex. Do you have any verse? All now you told me common sense. I'm use, I want from your book, I don't want common sense. You are telling me, you are telling me assumption. I don't want assumption. I showed you Matthew 25, when Jesus was describing the heaven, but you are telling his parable. Whatever you're saying of context, you are trying to twist and to just in order to attack Islam because in Islam there will be marriage, there will be and sex in heaven. Jesus never said there is no marriage in heaven. I dare you show me any single verse where Jesus said there is no marriage in heaven or there is no sex in heaven. And I showed you in heaven, the kingdom of heaven in Matthew 25, 1, they will meet their bridegroom. We know what bridegroom is for. And you know, what is the reason for meeting your bridegroom? You know what is the consequence? You know, everyone we know, what is the point of that? So all now you're telling me assumption and, and whatever. And Revelation, I told you, in chapter 14, verse 1 to 4. Okay. Still assumption. Yeah. Can I, I want you can to I answer, respond? please. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So again, since you got it again, Matthew 25, let, yes. me, let me rephrase. No, as, uh, no you didn't answer. No, that one we discussed about that. Yeah. Now I'm asking, now what I'm asking is, Show me where Jesus said, at the, in the heaven, I have to go there is no heaven. marriage in the heaven. He said, at the resurrection. I have the context is at the resurrection. In Islam, at the resurrection, when everyone comes out of the grave, at that time, there is no marriage, there is no wives. Okay. So there are no I'm wives responding. that time. Allow me to respond okay. because I allowed you. Okay. Okay. Matthew 25. Matthew 25, okay. again, does not speak about sex. Matthew 25 does not speak about having f sex in heaven it's because there is no sex in heaven. And answer. how do I say this is because the Bible does not say at all that there will be sex in heaven. The Bible does You're not, not say. You're not getting my point. Because okay, let me ask you one question. What is the point of getting married? Tell me. What is the point of getting can, married? Can I finish? Okay, answer because that question I, as well. Okay. No, I, I, I will let you I speak. You, yeah, I will let right? you speak. So Matthew 25 is talking about five, and you're not talking about the other portion. Matthew 25 is talking about five wise virgins versus five foolish virgins. It's not that we're going to be virgin men in heaven. Jesus said in heaven. No, Anyways, it is not that's that. the context. Please, I, whoever's watching, no, I in heaven. Them, no, look at the in context. heaven. No, Let's the context. The, Jesus mentioned no, the heaven. Like. No, like the kingdom of heaven will no, be he light. was describing. Yes, he was. Jesus was describing light. in heaven. It is not no, that way. He was describing exactly, the heaven. Exactly. This is what it's going to be like. He was Please telling what will happen it. in heaven. Understand it according. Do to you the agree? Jew. No. Do you agree? Jesus was See, describing what will happen me. in heaven. When you speak, okay. I am. I am not interrupting you. Okay. I'm allowing you to finish. Okay. But you're interrupting me continuously. Okay. But allow me to finish, and then you can okay. you can ask whatever question. Okay. Again, Matthew 25 is very clear, talking about five wise virgins. Five wise virgins represent us we have to be pure holy that is why it says virgins we are going to meet the bridegroom bridegroom represent is represented by jesus oh, that is what again, is going to be in heaven. and it is not now, about sex so jesus is about the okay wait supper. let me ask Hold you on, let me okay, finish okay, let okay. me finish okay, do finish. not interrupt me okay, it is it is the five wise virgins who will be invited to go into heaven because the five foolish virgins were not uh, were foolish so that they will be shut out of the kingdom of heaven that is what the parable is talking about it's not about sex in heaven it has nothing to do with sex again the 144,000 people in heaven they are the saints who will be in heaven it is not talking it does not specify whether they're virgins or not they have, because the bible does not clearly say uh, anything about sex that when it says marriage virgins 144,000 the Quran talks okay. about sex in heaven okay. because there is sex in heaven the bible does not talk about sex in heaven because there is no sex in heaven Okay, and you done. up to now, are Matthew done 25 now? is not a are very good now? argument. It's a very are weak argument now? because Matthew 25 is talking about something else. It's talking about a parable saying that we should be pure like virgins. Only then we can go to heaven. That's also again and again I'm repeating. Again, you're telling me assumption. 
assumption it's not and there. common sense. No, you're telling me it's common sense. No, you're telling me common sense and assumption. Okay, one question I'm asking now. You yes. say the pride Show group. Me okay, wait, let me finish. In the let Bible, me finish. Which says that we can I heaven. finish? Can I finish? Can yeah. I finish? Here now, you say the ten virgin men, the pride groom is Jesus. As you said, so are you telling me now Jesus was talking about 10 virgin men, those 10 virgin men is Jesus. So is Jesus 10 men? Is that what you're saying? The verse says 10 virgin men, bride, they will see their bridegroom. So is Jesus 10 men? No. You, the context even you're referring to Jesus is off context. Jesus said 10 men. Jesus is no equivalent to 10 men. Can I respond? No, let me finish okay. skill. But then so, allow me to respond. No, okay, let me finish. Until now, until now, again, I'm asking, I'm repeating again and again. Still now. Same thing. Same thing. Now you diverted. You said the ten virgin is about, ten virgin men is about Jesus. And Revelation chapter 14 verse 1 to 4 is about 144,000 virgin. You said it's not virgin. Go, can you, go, you can go through that one. You said it's not about virgin. So the difference... And I said again and again, in order you to have sex, you don't have to get married. In the Bible, there's no way sex Jesus is, there's no sex in heaven. But he said there will be the 10 virgin and 144,000 virgin men, they will meet their bridegroom, those 10 virgin men. So that means the main point, the main point of getting married is to have sex. If they are going to have bridegroom in heaven, according to Matthew 25, 1, that means they will be have sex. Am I correct? If you're having marriage, what, what's the consequence of marriage, getting married? It's sex. So Christians here all the time are twisting the vases, are saying they, they will be like an angels. What angels? The context is what? Do angels get married? Do, do angels get married? No. Or yes, what verse in the Bible? Do angels have sex? Yes, no. Where is the context? Where is the verse? Doesn't mean if Jesus said they will be like angels, like angels, doesn't mean they will not have sex. But all I see now, you, you they see will have right groom. Going on and I'm not no. able to, yeah? Now, so now please allow me uninterrupted. Okay. Again, let me be very clear here. The Quran talks, uh, uh, the, the Quran, the hadith the Quran. in this case. We, already, talks we, are not discuss, we are not disputing about Quran. Can it's about we, you. Can we? Okay. Can you allow me to speak? Okay. Yeah, because I allowed you to speak uninterrupted. Okay. It, the Quran, in this case, the Hadith talks very clearly about sex in heaven because there is sex in heaven. The Bible does not anywhere speak I about just, sex in heaven I just because told there you. is no sex in heaven. Whatever you brought up does not make sense. You brought up two verses. Common sense. Both the verses I'm telling you is common sense. No, the you're Bible, using your common sense as an assumption. Can I speak? Okay. The Bible is very clearly talking about five uh, wise virgins and five foolish virgins. Okay, they're not Jesus. And they're not but virgin before you men. Said Jesus. That it's talking about five virgins. Now again, Jesus, before another man. I'm not okay, being allowed to speak. Okay, Karen. Again, I'm, I'm allowing you, please okay. allow me the same okay, respect. Okay. okay, so the Bible very clearly talks about five virgins. Five virgins, not five virgin men. Five virgins this is who trim their men. lambs. Who trim their lambs. It's not five, it's ten. Can I respond? Please, okay. allow me. Okay. Okay, it talks about five virgins who trim their lambs and who were ready for the price. Move, move, please. Thank you. Yeah. It also talks about five foolish virgins who were not ready for the bridegroom. Therefore, the ones who are not ready will be shut out of the kingdom of God. Again, I gave you what context it is. It is a Jewish wedding where you have the virgins who come and welcome the bride. Okay, it was given in that context. However, you're misquoting it completely. You're misquoting again. the revelations of uh, around 144,000 people in heaven. Again, you're misquoting it again, completely. Again, again, and again, you're and again. And not able to show me anywhere that in the Bible evidence. that there will be sex in heaven. Again, I told you, sex in heaven, sex in heaven is only an Islamic concept because I'm not sure how their body, which is dead and rotting in the ground, will again no, go back. No, when we come physically, we will come back physically. Okay, physically, you, physically. So it's not spiritually. Don't get wrong. About is Islam, is physically. A Christian heaven is not physical. No, no. It goes beyond no, the no, physical no. realm. No, no, you are just um, assumption. No, it there's is, no it way does, Jesus does. said. No, where Jesus said they will be like be spirit. Like angels. Yeah. angels. No, does that mean? Listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Doesn't mean you become spirit. Don't get it wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, you are not becoming spirit because Jesus Himself in the Bible is said the disciples, the twelve disciples, will judge the nations, the 12 tribes of Israel. So spirit is Jesus is not referring spirit here. He is referring physically. 
don't get it wrong. You will drink. So are you telling me spirit drinks? No, we will not. Come on. Because that is Shall I show you? Your Islam. Come on. Show, wait, 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 wait. Shall I show you where Jesus... Metaphorically. Ah, no, it's not metaphoric. According to you, twisting. Jesus said in heaven you will drink. You will drink and eat as well. So are you telling me spirit can eat food and drink? Come on. It's not metaphoric. You're just, I, you're just now trying... Trying to twist I, the verses. I'm no, you're you are trying to, to twist. Pull Shall like I? This? Okay, I'm my question. You're to pull my like question. This because you're trying no, 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 to no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. No, no. Kevin talks please, about sex. please, I'm answering. Please, I'm asking simple question. It does please. not talk about women having many please. men. Please, Unfortunately, please. Unfortunately, bad to be a woman in Islam. The difference, but the difference is bad to be is bad to be woman in Christianity. No, 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 no. It is bad because you have virgin men in your heaven. You don't have virgin women in your heaven no I I, I just quote I, no 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 look look and look in context there's can you answer about virgin men shall I ask there's you one question about virgin men. It's shall I ask you one question shall I ask you one are, question you're asking me many questions. last question I'm yeah. asking yeah you said Jesus said in heaven everyone will be like spirit okay my question to you spirit according to Bible spirit we all know does not have flesh and does not have bones okay so how will they have okay wait 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 now my question to you you're trying to twist the verses. If Jesus said in heaven, you will drink and eat as well. So my question to you, how can a spirit with no bones and flesh eat food and drink? That means it's physically. Show me the verse. Come on. Shall I show you? Yeah. Again, Please I told go you. to Luke 20. Yeah. Again, wait, I wait. tell you, it wait, talks wait. about marriage supper wait, wait, of the wait, Lamb. Wait, 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 wait. Marriage supper of the Lamb. Wait, wait. Let me show you. Supper. Let me show you the verse. Indeed, you will drink. Wait. Indeed. You will drink of this cup. Drink, yes. Mm. Okay, so now you know yourself. Mm. Look, Matthew chapter 20, mm. verse 23, mm. Jesus said to them, You will indeed drink from my cup, but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father so here you go exposed you said we will become like spirit in heaven and now here's jesus said they will sit so you tell me spirit will sit so without flesh without bones how can they sit how can they eat how can they drink how can they have and uh, bridegrooms come on logically i think now you are misquoting and twisting your verses you will have sex in heaven because jesus said you will have bridegroom if you have bridegroom the main the main part the main point of having bridegroom in heaven is to have sex we know the meaning so you said you lied you said we will be like spirit you lied now i showed you many verses okay can i respond so can you spirit sit uninterrupted can i respond okay Just like you're giving me. okay okay so you quoted mark uh, you were quoting mark 20 Oh, I'm quoting Mark 12, no, 25. Matthew, no, no, you're no. quoting. Yeah, I'll come to Matthew that. 20, 23. Yeah. You said we will become like spirit. Okay. So my answer question so to you, very... how can a spirit drink and sit? Okay, can I respond? Okay. I'm interrupted. Okay, when the dead rise, they will neither marry, come, come nor me. will they be given into marriage. They will be like the angels. Are the resurrection. Can you please? Context. No, please the context. Allow me. Okay. Please allow me. Okay, okay, speak. Okay, when the dead rise, yes. they will neither marry, okay. nor will they be given into marriage. They will be like the Angel. angels in heaven. When this no, no, that's okay. another context. Please allow me. Please another allow context. Me. Do, not, do not interrupt. Another context. Do not interrupt. Okay. So this was given in context of somebody asking Jesus about what will happen to a certain person, a certain uh, condition, uh, 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 a certain situation they, which they brought to Jesus come, come, and they come. were asking him Can what will move forward this one? What will happen to this person? Yeah. Whose wife will she be in heaven? So in heaven Push forward. Go on. Yeah? Okay. In heaven Jesus very clearly tells them, very clearly tells them she will not be anybody's wife because in heaven there is no concept of marriage. Therefore, there is Again no now, it's as a resurrection. There is no it never heaven. said in heaven. Come on. Look, the, the first sentence. Read the first sentence, please. Mark Look, 12, the, no, no. 25. The first when sentence. When the dead read. rise, the they dead. will neither marry okay. nor will they be given in marriage. Uh -huh. They will be like angels, angels in heaven. heaven. Look now. They will be look, like look, angels look, look now. in heaven. Look, look. 
we need to marry, we Shall need I to answer? have wait. sex because of biology, wait. that's how we reproduce. Okay, the wait, very wait, first wait. commandment of God is to go forth and reproduce. Wait, that wait. was on earth, Shall I answer? a heaven, that command was not given to angels. It's only in an Islamic heaven yeah. where okay. there is Let physical, where it is physical, heaven where the Uri. men will have virgins. The women, yeah. unfortunately, women martyrs don't have anything. So it's not advisable to be a women martyr, yeah. but the men martyrs will have 72 virgins. Correct. Yes, yeah, so that have only done in Islamic have heaven, do not compare the two, uh, because a Christian heaven is not a physical heaven. Oh, uh, physical, I just proved to you. They will drink the and eat, realm. I just we proved to you, and they will the have bride realm. groom. And we will be like I'm quoting your, vi your Bible. Your Bible is going against, your Bible is going against itself. Your Bible is contradicting and going, refuting itself. So now again, you, mis you misquoted the verse again. I'm saying, it's look there. here. Wait, wait, wait. Let whoever me finish. Can, whoever wants Let me finish. Pull it up, can pull it up. Can you pull, can you pull this at the back, please? Because even that one is recording. Matthew 12, 25. Let me finish. Now you finish. Matthew 12, 25. Let me finish. Wants to pull it up, no, pull well, it up. let me finish. I'm not misquoting it. Now, I said, Jesus said, at the resurrection. Do I'm not get wrong. Mark 12, 25. No, Mark what? Mark 12, Let me show you. Mark what? Mark 12, 25. 12, 25. I know that verse, but I want to show you one thing. Yeah. Can we wrap up because I'm getting messages? Yeah, here. So here, here it says, "For when the dead arise, is when the dead arise." He never said heaven. When the dead arise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. Okay, that's an, another sentence. That's one sentence. And here it says, they will be like the angels in heaven. So here That's your context, it. wait, wait, That's wait. It. Let me finish. They will be like let me angels. finish, let me finish. Arise, so he said, like wait, wait let me finish. Let me finish. You don't know the context of this verse because ah. it never said angels are like what? Do they have sex? What was the context wait, wait, of this verse? Wait, wait, wait. What was the context wait, of wait, this wait. verse? Let me finish. Can I finish? The context here in this verse, it never said what, what angels... Was the context? Wait, I'm asking now. From your book, your Bible. Uh -huh. How are like how are they how are they angel how uh, basically I'm asking tell me describe angels according to your book does it say they do they do not Please have give sex me the context. Let, wait, said, wait I'm not wait, wait. according to context wait, wait, no, wait, tell wait. me what is the, the context. context I'm asking here uh -huh. he said they will be like angels so I'm asking what do angels look like you tell me now context I want and I want references from your book you can't you tell me assumption I, I don't want assumption I'm misquoting and I'm not giving I don't context. want assumption please give me the context. here it says please at the, the resurrection context. he never said in heaven please and I still am asking show me where Jesus said there's no sex there's no marriage in heaven nowhere it says at the resurrection it's at the res during at the resurrection time it's not in heaven Jesus never talked about in the heaven they take the sentence, the first bit of so, the sentence. You're not giving me the context. I, I, Let me give you the now context. Again, Let me give you the context. If you're not giving the me context? the context, again, what the me context? Give you for, for the benefit of the anybody context? who's watching. Assumption. Let me give you, not assumption. Uh -huh. If you go back into the chapter, uh, just two verses before, uh -huh. at the resurrection, whose yes. wife will she be? That's the question. Just okay. two, two verses earlier. Okay, go on. The same verse, two verses okay. earlier, whose wife will she be? Okay. This is a question that they're asking Jesus. I told you it was about a particular situation uh -huh. where they are asking about a particular woman, asking uh -huh. whose wife will she be at the resurrection? Uh -huh. yeah, what, what Jesus responds is, please forget it. She's not going to be anybody's wife. In other words, she, that's what he, I'm, I'm just uh, saying it in my own words. Forget it. There is no sex in heaven because she's neither going to be given in marriage nor will there be marriage. We will be like the angels in heaven. The angels in heaven do not have a physical body. Thank physical you. Body, now my question. Physical body I will I'm asking only again. for human beings because they now have again, to reproduce. Now again. You have to reproduce in heaven. I'm not sure friend, why. Now, but now we again. We will be like the angels now, in heaven who do not have a physical body. We will not have a physical body. We will be like them and we will be in the presence the of God. Thing. But you're not answering. Now I you said answered. again, you said in heaven, you said we will not be like, it's not like physically. And I showed you many verses, Jesus, where Jesus said, you will sit at my right hand and left side. And yes. also he said, you will drink and eat in heaven. So you're making, your book is going against itself. Okay. Now again, Can you're I moving. Respond? No, wait, wait, wait. You said you'll be like spirit. So spirit does not have bone, does not have flesh. But in heaven, you will eat and drink. So how can spirit with no bones, with no flesh, can eat, drink and 
and eat, drink, also sit. Answer my question. Okay. So you what tell Jesus, me, how can the spirit drink? Please answer okay. my question. Yeah, I'm going to answer okay, that answer. question and that question answer. only. Please answer. Okay. okay. So Jesus was and talking, then I'm done with you. Jesus was talking about uh, sh uh, eat, uh, drinking of the cup. What he's talking about is a cup of suffering. Oh, oh that's in, in heaven. Come on, you will drink. You do not. No, okay, look, look no, here. Whoa, please, no, please whoa, 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 whoa. What? Please Shall I show you? Go to yourself. Please go to Matthew chapter 20, verse 21 to 23. A lady came to Jesus and yes, said, please, uh, yes, please, I want two of my sons, two of them, one of them to sit at your right side and the other one at your right hand. And Jesus said, this is not for me to offer, to grant. It's for my father to offer this. And then he said, indeed, you will drink. She was talking about in heaven. So don't divert, don't okay. try to twist Matthew, the verses. Matthew chapter 20, verse 21 to 23, please. Go for me. Okay. Let me pull that I'm proving you, so I, you're not going, going to be spirit. It's I'm, physically. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm going you to will have fried up. grooms as well. So and you have 1,444,000 virgin men. Matthew 20? Matthew chapter 20, verse 21 to 23. Okay. okay. So let me read it. Read that okay. one for me, please. So we are clear. Yes. Okay. I'll prove you you know spirit is physically. So when this woman came and asked Thank Jesus, you. this is what she, uh, Jesus okay. responds. Uh -huh. You do not know what you're asking, Jesus okay. said to them. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? Thank you. Okay. That's, please listen very carefully. That's not spiritually. Can, physically. Drinking. Can spirit. Drink? Go and tell everyone. Spirit cannot drink water, my friend. Ah, right. Use your common sense. Right. Stop trying to use Even kids will tell you. Spirit cannot drink, cannot eat, when cannot see. Ca come on, come on. Please allow people please. to respond. No, use your logic. Please allow. I mean, no, please. Allow Jesus me to said, now, when Spirit you're saying, does not, not have bones and flesh. Well, I'm not telling you, please. Use so you're your telling logic. me you'll be like spirit you in your heaven. I'm not attacking you. When you're eating, you're going to eat food Siraj. and drink. Don't okay. attack. Uh, okay. You know, don't attack people on. Okay. No, I'm not attacking. I'm not attacking. I know those are good. No, 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 no. You're not saying you're not like this. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm just saying spirit because you're lying about the spirit. Okay. What I'm trying to tell you. Read, carry on, please. Read, 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 read for me. You Read. do not know what you're asking. Okay. You do not know what you're asking. Okay. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? Thank you. What Jesus is talking carry on. about. Please carry on. No, I want you to I'm carry on. Gonna, no, I'm, I'm going okay, to I will carry on for I'm myself. Okay, I'm I will carry on. You. Okay, wait. What Jesus is I will carry on. Matthew them, 20. Where, what Jesus is telling them is that 20 he here. is going to be crucified. Wait, Are wait, you wait, willing wait. to get the same, wait, drink wait, the wait. same suffering? Wait, wait. Are you willing to drink of the same cup? Wait, wait. Are you willing to drink of the same cup? Wait, wait. Indeed. You will drink of the same wait, cup. I'm here, I'm He's coming. not talking about a physical. Okay, it is, it's very much meto me metaphorical. Wait, wait. And he's talking about you wait, will wait, drink wait. of the same cup of suffering. Wait, wait. It's not suffering. Okay. The context is about heaven. The lady came to Jesus. Wait, let me finish. I'm quoting your verses. You are twisting the verses. So you are talking about came, suffering. You are about suffering. Wait, let me finish. Let me. Can I finish? Are you willing to drink of the same cup? Can I finish? Come on. Can I finish? Drinking of the same cup seems like enjoyment. Can I finish? No, you are just quoting it here. No, can I finish? No, can I finish? When if you are drinking of the same cup, wait, wait, wait. Shall I finish? No way. Why not they say yes? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, please. Let me finish. Please, let me finish. Let me finish. Here, this the lady said, What is it you want? He asked. He asked. She said, Grant that one of those, one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said, My kingdom is not here, my kingdom is above. Okay, he's talking about the kingdom. Let me finish. Wait, wait, let me finish. Look, again another one. Brother, this guy, he said, in heaven, in Christians, they will be like spirits. And I quoted many verses where Jesus said, in heaven, you will drink and eat and you will have fried grooms. So my question to him was, how can a spirit with no bones, with no flesh, can eat, drink and have fried grooms? Doesn't make sense here. And I told him, there's no way Jesus said, there's no marriage in heaven. But he said, there's no marriage at the, the, at the resurrection, there's no marriage. He never said at the resurrection, there's no, uh, in heaven, there's no marriage. Uh, again, he said, we will be like angels. And I ask you, what do angels look like? Angels, do they get married? Do they get married? 
Do they eat? Do they sleep? Do they have sex? In your Bible, does not teach what do angels look like. Now you just defeated yourself. You are telling me here, Jesus, the lady came to him and said, please, I want two of two, these two sons of mine to sit at your right hand and your left hand. And then Jesus said, no, to, in, so I'm not, the, question no, he said, place. I'm not the one to do this. That's my father who can do that. And then he said, indeed, you will drink in my kingdom. And Jesus, in another verse, he said, my kingdom is not from this world. He said, my kingdom is above. So the kingdom Jesus was talking about, you will drink and you will eat. And we know if you're having bridegrooms, if you're having bridegrooms, that means the consequence is sex. What's the point of having bridegrooms? It's sex. He's twisting the verses. Matthew 25, 1, Revelation, there will be 100, 144,000 virgin men. But in Islam, we have, one, uh, we have virgin women, but then they have virgin men. That's the difference. So us, at least we have virgin women, but in heaven, in their heaven, they have virgin men. 1,000, 144,000, also 10 virgin men. He said, he said the 10 virgin, he said the 10 virgins is Jesus, 10 virgin men. Is Jesus equivalent to 10 men? He said in the beginning. So my friend, you're making no sense. You said, you said it's Jesus, the bridegroom here is Jesus. Okay, good luck. Please give me. Thank you. Anyways, good luck. Okay, khalas. Thank you. Please give me the option. Uh, you you spoke so long. Okay. Now let me tell okay. you. You spoke about 144,000 okay. virgin men. Yes. There's nowhere in the Bible. Shall I show you? Up to now you have not shown. Okay. Me let that. me show you. You showed me. Let me show you. Which is a parable. Okay. Wait. Let me show you. About 10 okay. Wait. Well, let me show you. Women. Again, let me show you. Let me show you. you. Revelation. Wait. I told you it's 10 virgin Revelation. women. Revelation. Wait. You said that is Jesus. Revelation. I'm not sure you said. How you're I saw you said. I am not sure you said the bridegroom is Jesus. That's what you said. The bridegroom is Jesus. Jesus. So virgins are different. You are mixing up the whole. Groom. I think you okay, need to do you know what's bridegroom? The what's bride the meaning of bridegroom? The bridegroom is separate, separately mentioned please, in this verse. Do you know the, what's bridegroom? Do not not say that's Jesus. The ten virgins are different from please, the bridegroom. Please, please, one is question I'm asking. The bridegroom. Please go and please, read the verse. Please go search up what's bridegroom. It is about bridegroom a marriage. What? It is about who? a marriage. No. The bridegroom Let me show you the meaning of bridegroom. Come to meet him. Please, but let me show you. Context, let me show you bridegroom. Please look, 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 you did not show look. me. You did not show me at look all here. that there'll be virgins in heaven. Wait, 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 wait. Such a term does look, not look. exist. Such Let a term me show you. Does not exist What's bridegroom? In the what's Bible. bridegroom? Please tell me. What's what bridegroom? bridegroom? This is a parable. Talking no, what's about bridegroom? First of all, this is a parable. It's not a parable. Do you know Jesus what a parable was describing the heaven. Do you know what It's not a parable. Is. You're twisting. It is a parable. Okay, is Revelation parable? Okay, is Revelation parable? No, you're just twisting because oh, Revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you. You have to get out. Wait, this let me show you. Because you Revelation parable, 14. And now you're looking for some one. Excuse. You have wait, to let me show you. Let me show you. I'm here to tell you. I'm finishing with this. I'm ending with this. Okay, let me. I'm finishing with this. Look here. Look here. He said. Then I looked, Revelation 14, chapter 14, verse 1. He said, Then I looked, and there before me was Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him 1,400 and 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. Okay, let me carry on. And then he said, And I had a sound from heaven, like, like the roar of rushing waters and like a loud peal, peal of thunder the sound i had was like that of harpies playing their harps wait let me finish wait and they sang a new song before the throne and before the four, and before the four living creatures and the elders no one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth okay let me finish so they are those who did not defile themselves with women. What does that mean? They are virgins. For they remained virgins. Thank you. You said there's no virgin in here. 
in Revelation chapter 14, for verse 1 to 4, you said there is no virgin. So you have virgin men in your heaven. We have virgin women in our heaven. Jesus, I say again, no, there's no way Jesus said there's no sex in heaven. There's no way Jesus said there's no marriage in heaven. But he said there will be pride. Ten virgin men, with, they will meet their pride grooms. So the main point of having pride grooms is to have sex. Thank you. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done.